Here we go. Hey everybody, it's Maria from What's a Story with Maria. How's it going? So nice to be here. I cannot tell you how excited I get on Tuesdays because we have our show. And this is episode 148. That's right, 148. So I'm very, very, very happy about that because we've been doing this uh, for almost three years. June 8th or July 18th, I believe, will be three years that we've been doing What's the Story with Maria. And that makes me so very happy. So um, we want to welcome you to our show. We come live every Tuesday night. Um, hi, Jeffrey Campbell has joined us already. Hi, my sweet friend. How are you? So we come live every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, mm -hmm. And we broadcast for an hour. And what the mission of the show has always been to interview and celebrate creative people and um, the living, surviving, thriving of this business and all types of creatives. And let me tell you, in the last nine weeks, it's been very, very interesting. I won't, you know, I was saying challenging here and there, but I'm gonna switch it to interesting because it's getting interesting. <clears throat> You know, a lot, when I, I write, I keep logs of the shows and I keep, I, I usually write the date and of course I write the guest, the number, what I make, but it, while we've been in this pandemic mode and I've been writing like... You've been writing you, like... You started, right? Yes, I did, Jimmy. I thought that it, it didn't matter, so. I started at like 9.01. Is that Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right, honey. So that is Jim Bell. He's a producer and engineer. We want to thank him. He gets us on every week. And um, <clears throat> I saw that it was like 9 oh Yeah, it was like, I started about a minute ago, Jimmy. So anyway, like, I, I, as I was saying, we find ourselves in these, um, in this kind of new world. Although some things are starting to, you know, kind of like uh, go back to s semi the way they were and some things definitely have not and but what has come of it is that there's a lot of new stuff that's happening <clears throat> and i have to say my friends uh that are creative which are most of my friends one way or the other they are creative people um have really done some amazing things so i see that nate Bucheri has popped on nate i am so excited nate is going to call in in about six minutes and i am beside myself now Yes, Nate is going to call in. Hi, Ica Valley. How are you? We're going to have to have Ica Valley call in. Now, I'm hoping that things go back to a place where we can all hang out again together. And then, Nate, you have to come back and I'm going to cook for you. Because that is part of why I love to have people in the studio. Because we cook and then afterwards we sit around and just, um, just talk and, and connect. And it's really great. So I'm looking forward to that day when we can all do that again. In the meantime, people are calling in. And you see a lot of people, what they're doing is they're, they have shows of their own now. You know, there's a lot of shows out there. And what a lot of people are doing using the StreamYard or they're doing the Zoom and the split screen and all that stuff. Uh, we don't do that here because this is predominantly a radio show. That's what it, it really is. It's a radio show that goes through Armed Radio, armeddigitalmedia.com, Armed Radio Global. And we just happen to Facebook Live it so that you can see us as well and see our guests. But that's why I don't do the split screen. I kind of like the gorilla style that it's always been, and that's how we're going to keep doing it. So you won't see our guests live, but I will, they will be calling in live, which is great. And then when you go to our podcast, which is uh, in a few hours will be on, well, about six hours usually, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. You're going to be able to hear the podcast, which is going to be great. So we are so glad that you're here. Now, um, as I said, calling in is Nate Bucheri and Eric Eves Garcia, two of my wonderful friends. And what they have in common is that they, in my life, what do they have in common in my life? Because that's, you know, I put these things together, right? Is that they both are very, very joyful people. They're people that celebrate life and, and are really happy people. And I appreciate that. You know, I, I, they say birds of a feather flock together. And I feel like, you know, it, somebody used to say Massachusetts is a saying that says, uh, uh, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. And, and that pretty much means like, 
you know, you, you are, you are known and judged by the people that you, uh, that you surround yourself with. So I really like to surround myself with happy, productive, joyful, creative people. And these two guys are two of the most of all those things that I mentioned. So, um, all right. So Nate is going to call in in a few minutes. Let me see what time it is. Okay. Yeah. we got a few minutes left. So, um, what's happening in New York city. I'll just fill you in quickly because that's where I am. I'm in New York city and I know that we have people from everywhere. Um, that call in, which I love. So let me see. Leo Rodriguez has, has checked in. He is our accidental intern assistant now. Uh, it's a, it is, it's my favorite party. Yes. Thank you, Leo. And thanks to Leo who makes those amazing, amazing little promos. That's Leo. That's the genius of Leo Rodriguez. He does that for us. David Slauson, the beautiful David Slauson has checked in. Thank you for coming back every week. Rena Crignali Berge, my cousin from Massachusetts. Oh my God, how wonderful. Um, who else do we have? We have Jeffrey had checked in. Eudania Mesa, that's my honey. Hi, honey. She's across the Hudson River in Jersey. And um, I will be seeing her soon. Annette Cito, oh my God. Annette, I was just maybe a half an hour ago listening to the message you left me today. Thank you, honey. My phone a ringer was off today for some strange reason, so I couldn't, uh, I didn't hear it. So, but uh, thank you for the birthday messages and all that great stuff. Dan Crowley has called, I mean, has checked in. Dan called in last week. Oh my God, what an amazing show that was. My niece, Angelica, uh, called in, as did Dan Crowley, and they were both amazing, like spiritual, mystical, a lot of that great stuff. And Dan Crowley, um, read my chart last week, which was mind blowing. And he did my nieces this week, which was also incredible. So I do want to say, if you want your astrological chart done, I'm going to, I'm going to clean this astrological chart done. You want to contact Dan Crowley. And that is at D J Crowley nine, two, four at Gmail. So if you want your chart done, which is such a great thing to have done, especially now, you know, I think everybody's kind of like, what's going on? Where are we? What, where am I at? So Dan Crowley's your guy. Oh my God, Darcy Blakesley from Los Angeles, my friend and fellow wildfire, wildfire person. I love Darcy Blakesley. She's checked in uh, and Nate knows Darcy too. That's right, Darcy. All right, so we got a lot of really good people checking in here. Nancy Pizzotti from Massachusetts. Hi, Nancy, how are you? And thank you for the birthday uh Yes, my birthday was May 21st, which was the last Thursday. And I got to tell you something. I actually had a wonderful birthday. I was hanging out with Judy and then, oh, hi, Scott Barbarina. How are you, my love? Scott Barbarina from Piano Bar Live. That is taken off and I can't even tell you how great that show is. So now they're, you know, like we're all trying to do things because of this new way. We're trying to do things um, in a different way. We're, we're, I'm not going to use the word reinvent anymore because a lot of people have done that and it's not even about that anymore. It's about survival, but not just survival. It's about enjoying kind of like you went into a different room you've never been in. And you're like, you know what? I liked my old room and my old room is great. And I hope to go back to my old room, but this is a really great room too. I'm kind of in that space this week. So, uh, hi Rory. Rory Taggart is calling in from Canada. Uh, so Nate, go ahead and call in honey and we will go, we will forge ahead with our beautiful friend, Nate Buccieri, who works with me at the duplex at Brandy's. He has traveled the world. God knows. Um, and so I want him to tell us about that. So everybody's doing something. I, I see on Facebook that a lot of our friends are really like doing all this amazing fun stuff. Like. Uh, everybody's, you know, some people have gone back to work. Some people have part-time work. Some people are still uh, on unemployment and hoping to go back to work. We're all trying to get back to what we're doing, but what are you doing in your spare time? A lot of people are doing some really amazing things. And I've seen, um, I've seen a lot of that. So here's our buddy, Nate, Nate Bucheri. Let me put you on speaker. My love. Can you hear me, honey? I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh my God. That is a perfect level. Perfect level. All right. Hi, Great. honey. So good to hear your How voice. How are you? I am fantastic. Oh my God, I'm having a good week. I really am. I'm in a good head. And yes. I got to say, one of the reasons that I am in a good head is because I, I got to tell you, I've been watching your show on Facebook 
and it puts I me. I know you have. I love it. It just puts me in the best mood. It just puts me in the best Thank mood. You. So first, before we do anything, I want to show people a picture of you and how cute you are. Uh, first okay. of all, I'm going to go straight to the picture that I called should be your album cover. This is Nate uh, in his car here with his keyboard, and I think that's your nephew in the suitcase. Am I oh, right? Yeah. Yes. I, so I'm upstate, and I am here. So you've seen. So I'm here with three out of my six, um, one niece and two nephews, oh, and they're God. like, "Oh, I'm okay." I, I went over. I wasn't sure if I could see that and, and talk to you at the same time. Yeah. That's my little nephew Jack, who's going to be two in about two weeks, and. The thing is, I am so lucky because I'm with three kids. There is Juliet, who's 10, okay. and Blake, who's 7, and Jack, who's 2, and they are game for anything. I love it. Now, I do have this other one, but I didn't... Yeah, then there's Jack, but I don't have a picture of Jack. I can't believe it. Please tell Jack oh, it wasn't so intentional. Cute. So this is so cute, too. And and I show these, but I will bring these back as we talk about them. Um, but I love when your nieces and nephews jump on and start... Uh, are on the show with you. So let's start by saying, I just want to give you an introduction. So Nate Puccieri is an amazing uh, singer, songwriter, composer. He, uh, how do I know Nate? I, uh, he, he's an arranger. He does like so many amazing things musically. I know Nate because he works as a piano uh, player, uh, musical director at the Duplex where I work and also at Brandy's where I work. And that's how I know Nate. But, uh, Nate does also you do you've done cruise ships you've musically directed uh, at, at clubs in even Mexico right even Mexico yep I mean absolutely. out of the, yeah okay. yep little so, of everything little, little of everything. Of everything I know you're always going somewhere it's like so here I have a picture of you and Brian Nash who I know you've worked with a lot there is a rainbow above your head here and I think you're on a ship in this picture Exactly. We do our we do our snuggling pianos together, which we say it's it's dueling pianos, but we're buddies, so our pianos are buddies. So I, I yeah. love that. Oh, there we go. So it's yep. not dueling; it's snuggling. I like that. <laughs> exactly. So we're buddies. So our pianos don't duel; they snuggle. I yeah. love that. See, but that's what I mean by positive people. Now, exactly. you know what I mean. Even that is a. Oh my God, Katie Cass has come on. I think. Oh, I saw the. I mean, I saw, I saw the whole slew, like Dan. I mean, like it's like a little duplex reunion. Yes, Darius it is. We got is so many amazing and people. Dan and there. James is here, and Darcy. Jennifer Pace just came on. Katie Cass is here. Oh my God, and Billy Goffey, Billy Goffey, Katie Cass. Oh my God, Jeannie Craigie. She's my friend from Massachusetts. Amazing person. Jennifer Pace. Jennifer Pace. I mean, talk about. We're going to talk about all this stuff. So, all right. So. Uh, now that I've told people who you are, and I, I want to start by saying that you will, and I hope that you do accept the offer. When all of this is over, I, I'm going to have people back in the studio, of course, to cook for them. And I really want you to come back in person so that I can show everybody how beautiful you are and cook for you. Okay? I would love love to. I mean, you had me. You mentioned it before, but you had me at cook for me. Right. I'm like, I know I'm like... On a Friday night at Brandy's, we've talked about sauce, but it's been at like 927, like a real, you know, quick conversation about sauce. Yeah. But yeah. You make your own sauce? Of course. Yeah. I make everything from scratch. There are a few things that I don't because I feel like they're better made by other people. But um, I, I will always try something. I will always try something. But sauce, yeah. yeah, sauce, that is something you're just brought up with. And and I love that. You're Italian, right, Nate? Oh, yeah, absolutely. My mom makes some good sauce, too. Absolutely. Yeah. And your family is amazing. Everybody just is a, just incredible. And uh, how they get along. And you guys are just so close. I love it. That's how my family is, too. Yep. You know, they're we just, just... Yeah, they're, they're good. They like to hang out. Even, like, like when I've been doing the live shows, they're just like, they're like, we can't wait for the show. I mean, they're just so excited about it. I love that they're kids that are, you know, I'm taking this in, taking this time in when they're like so psyched to, you know, by the time they're 14, 15, there might be a couple of years where they're like, I'm not hanging out with you. Yeah, you'd but be surprised I'm though. Because I, I have two nieces, and I, I mean, I've the same thing since they were little, but what happens is as they get older, they, they have a different appreciation for you. It's more of an intellectual or creative appreciation. 
there's a there's yeah. a connection that never that never really uh, ends. It's beautiful. So what I want to tell the people about. So Nate, I'm used to working with Nate. We work live in clubs, and and Nate is like literally from the second he starts to we have to tell him to stop. Actually, Nate is the only <laughs> piano yeah. player, which is the truth, Nate, that I've ever worked with. That people are like, okay, it's we're good. You could stop playing. <laughs> Like it, everybody's gone. Nate will just go on and on and on because everybody's left. Please stop singing. Stop it! But because you love to do it, right? I do. I love to do it. I get I get caught up in the energy. I definitely feed off the energy. It's so much fun. It really is. Yeah, and I love that about you. I also want to welcome Mandar Chick Magnet has joined our show, um, and I think Darius. If I, I I think someone was mentioning Darius might have joined, which would be so wonderful. All yeah, right. I saw Darius earlier join in, yeah. Okay, great. So, hi, Darius. Welcome. I know Darius is super busy. He's teaching again and um, doing a lot of stuff there out in Morristown. Now, Nate, this is one of the reasons I wanted to have you on. On Friday okay. afternoons, so we miss Nate so much and we miss Piano Bar so much and we miss the energy of being with our friends, but... What you have managed to do, and my other guest who's coming on, he does a different type of thing, but it's also on Friday. So this is kind of the Friday show. But you, on Friday nights, tell everybody what you've been doing. So, yeah. So um, normally my weekend in New York is a Friday night at Brandy's and then the duplex of Big Gay Saturday Happy Hour to follow. So that's what I thought. I was like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, weekend is a weekend. Let's do it. Let's keep it Friday. And so every Friday at 9... And, and why nine, you ask? Well, because I didn't want to compete with RuPaul's Drag Race at eight. Oh. I figured, you know, uh, that is, yeah, that's too much of a competition. Um, so every Friday at nine, I've been doing a live piano bar and I've been doing, I, I love, I do love a theme. So I've been doing some weeks that are like a definite theme, like it's an eighties night. And then other weeks that have been, you know, a mild theme, like, Hey, what's your happy place song or what songs remind you of road trips? But this week, and Jennifer Pace, I know you're watching, and you're going to actually probably stand right up and shout right now. I'm doing an all Billy Joel and Elton John week this Friday. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. so what Nate does, well, you're right. When you said you're a theme guy, I actually, like, I, I wanted to laugh because you, Nate is a total theme guy. Like, Nate will come in with a costumes lot. and wigs and all kinds of crazy stuff and really go for it. And then I love all the the different posters that you've made over the years of your theme nights. So you are definitely a theme night guy, but let me just show you what he does now. He does do certain themes, but I also love, I'm going to show this again. I know the kids are just adorable. So this one, I remember caught my eye right away. So this was the first week. So you were in the town at once the, the pandemic hit, you stayed in town for about two weeks, right? Or two or three weeks in New York. Yeah, I was, I was actually, I was out of town for, like two weeks starting like the very end of February until March 13th. So it was like, so I was out of town for those two weeks. And then I came back and played at Brandy's on Friday. The, oh, I think it was Friday the 13th. Yeah. I was I with you. Woo. Yep. And it was, yeah. And it, it was an amazing night because it was one of those where it was, it was strangely like it was coming, but everyone was like, Oh, I don't care. I'm going to hug you anyway. It was honestly one of the best nights I've ever had there. Yeah. And it was so much fun. And it was a great weekend, but then it was like Saturday was a little weird, and then Sunday was like, oh, this is actually okay. This is a thing. And then then my Monday evening or Monday afternoon, everything everything closed. So I did come up. Uh, I came upstate, um, and I was at. Um, I'm actually at my my uh, brothers and I had a lake house um, in. Wyoming County in upstate New York. So, hey, here's a shout out to Wyoming County. Wow. I never even Anyone? heard of Wyoming County. Ex exactly. It's cute. It's like, you know, like an hour from Buffalo. Oh, um, so, and, an hour from Buffalo North? Um, East. Okay. An hour okay, east okay. from Buffalo. All yeah, right. in state. So, I was there by myself for about a month. Wow. And then I went with my brother and sister, and that's where I've been ever since. Okay, wonderful. So, and and your nieces and nephews who are just adorable. So it, exactly. you've done a kind of a row. And then this one I love because you called it a pajama party with jam. Uh, oh, yeah. I love that. You guys were all in your PJs. And I love that your nieces and nephews, I love when you give them like little things to do. Like 
okay, you guys got shaker fruits, a uh, little shaker eggs, and you're going to help me with this. And they completely rise to the occasion. They absolutely do. In fact, the pajama party was not even my idea. It was my seven-year-old nephew, Blake's idea. Oh I can't even God. feel that from him. He was like, you should have a pajama party. <laughs> and I was like, that's right. I was like, because you can't spell pajama without jam. Oh so, my yeah. God. I loved it. They're, they're super cool. They will, they, they're like, they're hams. They'll do anything. They're totally into it. I feel like I'm just prepping them like future piano bar workers slash customers of you know the future yeah they're they are <laughs> hams i love i love kids like that and i love people like that because you're yeah. all you're literally passing the torch of like funny and um you know like you're always gonna laugh no matter how old you are or how old they are you are always gonna laugh together you yep. know, once you Absolutely. establish that, like my family's like that too. Everybody's nutty. I love it. You know, and so everybody's always laughing and it's really great. I want to take a second because uh, a couple of people have joined us. Brian Johnson, my friend from Massachusetts. Hi, Brian. How are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. Did I miss anybody? Um, Brian. I wanted to say hi to John Bronston too. Did he join? We've been put, we've, yeah, we've been putting together shows for... Um, you know, for the, the, the duplex and Don't Tell Mama and Brandy started doing these. And John was just the the savior of putting together the Brandy shows. John so I want to is thank him incredible. For that. Kenny Holcomb has joined us as well. Hi, Kenny Holcomb. How are you? Kenny Holcomb was sporting a What's the Story with Maria tote bag today. He took a picture of it. That was really, thank you, Kenny. That made my day. John Bronson is really an amazing guy on many, many, many levels. And he doesn't take a lot of credit for all the stuff he does. But he's just one of these quiet people kind of behind the scenes that gets a lot of stuff done that helps the rest of us. Would you say? Yep. Yep, absolutely. 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 So now, are you going to... That's gonna... why we're lucky. We work with a lot of good people. We really, really do. Yeah. Thank God. It's great. So great many nice say. people. And they're also amazingly talented, right? Absolutely. And funny. <laughs> and funny and like look We're right now people. we can't do what we normally do which is work in the clubs or work in shows or all that stuff so what at first you know everybody was kind of in a little bit of a panic but you know people adjust to what they have to and uh, you are a great example of that and so like when you do your shows now on Fridays first of all tell everybody how they can find you Fridays at nine how can they find Nate Pucheri? Yeah, Fridays at 9, it's just right on my personal Facebook page, right? So you can either, my handle on everything is Nate on the Keys. Nate um, on the Keys. Or if, if you can spell Bucheri, if you're Italian, you can spell Bucheri. You could do it that way. But yeah, Nate on the Keys will bring you right there. It's right on my, right on the feed on my, on my personal page. It okay. should just pop right up. Pops yeah. right up and you Figures. can see. And then you play for like a good hour, right? I play for like, usually like two, three hours, I kind of get going. It's the same thing. It's like, you know, like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, my God. You can do it again soon. But I just, yeah, I have so much fun. It's great. And people will make requests and, and things like that. So it really, that kind of kept me going, too. I always love working with people's requests. You so know, people honestly, will send you requests like a day or two before, or they do it right then and there? Um, both. both. Okay. Both of those things. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it, does that, the, do the requests help you plan the night or do you just, do, oh, you tell people ahead of time what the theme is, right? I do. I do announce a theme, but yeah, the requests sort of, sort of help plan the night. Yeah, absolutely. I'll kind of go through and yeah, kind of put it all together beforehand and then things come in at the time and yeah. So it's kind of the closest to like a real piano bar. It's almost the napkins without getting the actual physical right. napkins. Right. They're, they're electronic napkins. Exactly, Absolutely. electronic napkin. I love yeah. that. So let me stop you again because Jeannie Craigie has written, she's typed in Nate on the keys. That's right, Jeannie, thank you. So everybody can see that. So you can find Nate on the keys, any hashtag Nate. As a matter of fact, I I wrote your, um, I hashtagged your name, but I'm going to hashtag Nate on the keys. That's how you can find him. Kyle de Blasio has joined us. Hi, Kyle. How are you? Kyle's a big fan. Um all right, so uh, Leo, oh, wonderful. Also, Leo, Leo Rodriguez has uh, put up Nate on the keys and all your information, musician, band. Great. 
so you can find Nate on the keys. And it says Puerto Vallarta there as well. You really have traveled the world. I am impressed. I love it. I love it. I love it. I mean, I'm missing it now, but so many other wonderful things like family time and, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, doing projects with people are like taking, you know, taking that, the place of that. You know, I know. And I was telling somebody the other day, like, like, you know, we're, we all go into different uh, panics at different times. But I said, you know what I've been thinking a lot about? And that is that things will go back to what they're supposed to go back to or we'll find ways to do what we do. But let's let's take this what, what we're calling downtime, uh, if you will. And like, what did you do with your downtime? Like, I really don't want to just remember it as a miserable time. Like, I I've been writing a ton, you know, and I I even um, I even like uh, sanded down my old piano. It was like this old beat up piano. I sanded it down. And I, oh yeah, I saw that. On yeah, Facebook. it looks great. Yeah, it does, and it's like brightened up the whole room. Like I was like, I, I don't want to just, and that's what I did on my birthday. I was like, I want to remember that, you know. So yeah. I, I think that, and I want to thank you because you really like Nate. You always have. I don't have one day where I, I, I have an inkling of a bad feeling when I remember you. It's always like, oh, I love that guy. He's always so happy. And I really appreciate that, honey. You. I really mean that. Yeah. You know? Whenever I picture you, I picture coming up to you behind the bar and you just instantly putting your arm around me. That's how I always Because I love you. you, honey. And usually usually in a Bruins, um, a Bruins jersey, too. Something <laughs> like that. You. Yeah. A little, little Bruins, yeah. Red Sox, a little something. A little Boston thing going on, I always have. Exactly. Absolutely. Now you're a Buffalo guy, though, and I, I, I noticed that now that you're with your brothers and your nephews and nieces, you're wearing a lot of Buffalo Bill stuff, and I like that. It, it's I like a sporty person. Oh yeah, I mean I always did the Buffalo, the, the you know always the Buffalo fan, but now it's getting even crazy because like the whole family, we have Buffalo Bills face masks. Oh. Like we are, you know, like he, win in Rome, man, win in Rome. I know, honey. <laughs> I got my I got a, a Red Sox uh, I got a Red Sox mask too. I got a Red Sox from, G uh, I mean, I got a, um, a blue one mask from my friend Jeannie, who's in Stone and Mass, which is my hometown, which is blue for our, our Spartans. And then I got a Red Sox one from my friend Scott Ryan's mom, who's a, an Orioles fan. But when the Orioles were out of it, she roots for the Red Sox. So how cool is that? Yeah. I know. Okay. So I know. It's so great. If you know sports, you just love these sports people. They're always like, so Lynn Portis has joined us. I don't know if you know Lynn. Lynn is uh, one of my best friends, and she's my, always been my musical director. And we wrote, we write a lot of songs together. We just wrote a brand new song this week, which I cannot wait to debut. And I'm going to do it, I think, oh. on Facebook Live soon. I'm very proud of it. As Lynn wrote the music, I wrote the lyrics, and we're like really proud of it. So Catherine has joined us. Oh. Catherine Salvio, she is in Florida. Hi, Catherine. Um, so now, Nate, you're going to stay up there for a little while longer, right? Yeah, I'm gonna stay up. Yeah, I'm gonna stay up here for a little while longer and kind of see. I do some. I do some work usually over the summer in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and that might be on like a little bit of an earlier schedule than. Okay. In fact, I'm sure it'll be on an earlier schedule. So I might go down there and do a little bit. Um, but I'm. But honestly, this is great. I mean, I love doing all this, all this online stuff and all this. You know what I mean? The, the projects that. You know what I mean? We never have, and we, meaning like all of us, we just never, never have time. Have for, time. Never and have this time. This is really great. So I'm in no, I'm in no rush. Like things are busy in a different way with kids and projects and taking bike rides and all that stuff like that. But like I'm, I'm loving it. I'm in no rush. I'm yeah, no rush. and you I, know what? I, it has to be right. When we wait. go back, it has to be right, and it will be. In the meantime, there's a million other great things that we can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. and I feel that. So, okay, we can catch Nate um, on on uh, Friday nights at 9 p.m. Yep. Just go to Facebook yep. and type in Nate on the Keys, right? Absolutely. Okay. Nate, Nate on the Keys. No spaces, just one word, Nate on the Keys. And I'll be there with, yeah, just with a, maybe a wig on and just singing my face for a couple I, hours. And you know what else I love about your nephews uh, and nieces Ed, that crack me up? They are just like you in that they'll take risks, like... Like your nephew last week when, was it last week when he just grabbed like that little hat that was a hamburger and put it on his head? Oh, yeah. I'm like, good for he you, kid. A, like, it, it, we love a prop. 
I love that. They love props. They put, they're always putting, they're shaking their little legs. They're putting on costumes. I'm like, good for them. Yep. I love that. I love that. And now you're, I also want to say that you have the same birthday as one of my favorite human beings on the planet. Ooh, I know exactly who it is. Michael Isaacs. Michael Isaacs. So for those of you out there that know Michael Isaacs, Nate Pucheri and Michael Isaacs have the same birthday. I mean, yep. September 25th, it's a good day. That's it. I mean, two really happy guys, and I love it. And you, you're different in some ways, but you're very similar in that you love what you do. You love it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I appreciate exactly. that because we have to, as musicians and creative people, we, if, we have to love what we do because God knows it's not about the money. You know? Yep, it's, exactly. <laughs> you're exactly. not going to get rich doing right. what we do, but you're going to be really happy. Absolutely. So, Nate, honey, I love you. I want to thank you for calling in. And um, is there anything else that we should know before? uh, Because I am going to have you on when we can go back to live stuff. I'm dying to have you on, and then we can talk about all the stuff. But Rehoboth, um, if you do something out there where you post it on my page so I can post it on my Facebook page, and I'll post it on my show page. Absolutely. I would be happy to. And I want to thank you for A, for being the beautiful, wonderful person that you are, I love and B, for having me on, and C, for having this just an audio thing, so like I didn't have to like shower or do my hair or nothing. Exactly, I, I wanted to give you a all break. All messy, unshaven, thank you. Yes, exactly. don't worry about it. Nobody knows what, what's happening over there. It's just your beautiful voice and energy. That's what we need. <laughs> Perfect. That's Maria, it. Maria, I love you so much, and I- it was so great to talk to you. I love you. You too, honey bunny. I can't wait to give you a real hug, okay? I, I can't either. I oh. can't either. Good night, my sweet friend. Okay, good night. I'll be tuning into the rest. Thanks. Okay, great. Hi, Eric, and looking forward to that. Wonderful. It's going to be, I, it's, I think it's going to be a really good show. we got more to go. So totally. stay with us, everybody. Let's say good night to Nate. Good night, my love. All right, good night. Love you, Maria. Love you too, buddy. All right, Nate with Cherry. Oh, my God, what a sweet guy. If you know Nate, you know how sweet he is. My God. And um, you, please check him out. Friday nights at 9 p.m. You know, now a lot of people are doing Facebook stuff because, you know, a- as performers, we just, like, we have to perform. It's Unless you, you are a performer, it's hard to understand. But we that are, we all get it. It's like, oh, my God, I have to do something. Like, sometimes I really, I can't sleep at night. And, you know, someone else might pick up a book or or turn on Netflix. I have to, like, pick up my guitar and jump on Facebook. I, it's crazy, but I need an audience. I need people to, you know, to, to play for. And it just makes you feel good, you know. So, Belle Parker has joined us. Hi, Belle. How are you, my honey? She's in Wisconsin. She has a beautiful baby. She's adorable. Thank you for on my birthday. She sent me a picture of the baby uh, giving me a flower. That was so cute. That was really cute. And by the way, yeah, last Thursday was my birthday, and people were so sweet. Everybody sent me such wonderful messages. You guys made my day. And you know, like a lot of people, like, oh, these quarantine birthdays. Look, you know what? This is where we're at. What are we going to do? So that's why I wanted to do something really special. And I I, uh, I think I might turn it so you can see my piano. I, it's hard to to see all this stuff. Let me see, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, Bill Goffey. Oh, yeah, Scorpios. Lynn is a Scorpio, definitely. Bill and Lynn are Scorpios. But Nate and Michael are Libras. They're early Libras. Okay, I'm going to turn this. Oh, it's for, oh my God. Wait a minute. We'll do it later. You know who's calling in right now? I have him as Frenchie. Eric keeps Garcia, but I call him Frenchie. Frenchie. Hey. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good to I'm hear your great, voice. honey. Good to hear your voice. You know, when you come up on the phone, even though everybody, this is Eric Eves Garcia, on my phone he comes up as Frenchie because <laughs> I've been calling him that for a hundred years. I don't. I, you know, go it's, ahead. it's not. It still happens. I gotta say, every now and then, it used to happen like a, a, a lot more often. But well, back in the days when people used to roam around and go places and see people. Yeah. But uh, it used to happen, and it still happens that every now and then, you know, I'll be playing a gig or ro- you know, even if I'm like not with you or around somewhere, and somebody will come up to me and say, 
Frenchie. And I don't, I, they, I know that I instantly know we have you in common, but I don't necessarily know them. So if I'm on any level famous, it's just through you. Well, if you're famous as Frenchie, perhaps I, I did introduce you, but then you had to keep up that connection, my friend. Well, yeah, you know, I, but I've met, actually, you know, I, I've met a million, actually some of the best people I know I've met through you. I, I, you're like a, you really, you're like the Pied Piper. Well, you I know, mean, it's you, funny that, I, well, first of all, thank you for the compliment. You know who calls me that? Exactly no, what you just said? Susan Campanero. Uh, well, she would know. She's always said, Ray, you're like the Pied Piper. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she says. Listen, I want to tell you, Leo Rodriguez, Leo Rodriguez has yeah. posted your handsome picture and um, website up there so that everybody can see um, Eric Eves Garcia, a.k.a. Frenchie, to me. And they, oh, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, there you are in all your handsomeness. Um, now, I am going to... I have pictures I have printed. I printed pictures of Nate, the adorable Nate Pacheri. Wasn't it great to hear Nate? Oh, my God. He's incredible. He I mean, is incredible. I love him. I, I you know, I, I think I first met Nate... Um, it feels like uh, I can't even think how many years ago, but uh, at Mama's, um, I used to play uh, like once or night, once or twice a week. I used to play um, a happy hour shift at Mama's, like Sunday, Monday, and then later uh, Nate would play, and I was always dazzled with Nate because he was just like he was not just like a one man encyclopedia of styles and and. Um, and, 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 and songbooks just across pop and Broadway. And I mean, it just went on and on and on. But it's so easy to get lost behind that giant piece of furniture. You know what I mean? Great like way as to a pianist. It, and he, and he, he's just like, he pops, you know, in that way that some performers behind a piano can just, you can't ignore them. They're Absolutely. Just... That's a perfect way to put it. That is a perfect way to put it. Um, now I want to show, yes, he pops. I love that. I want to show, I'm going to show a picture of my friend, Eric Gives Garcia. Here he is at the piano. Look at how handsome. And I got to say, you are always dapperly dressed. He, he is, so, man, can this guy rock a tuxedo or a suit or something elegant? You are a, a, a dapper gentleman. So there he is at the piano looking exceptionally dapper. I think this might have been at the cabaret convention. It was, yeah, I was at the cabaret convention or 54, uh, maybe Fine Science 54, below, uh, but maybe the cabaret convention, yeah, I, I think I don't, you're right. It might be either one, but I, I don't know why I think when I printed this out that it was the cabaret convention, although you would look equally as beautiful at the uh, uh, 54 Below. <laughs> Always, always looking fine. Now I am going to show another dapper. They're all dapper. Another dapper picture of him and his beautiful girl, Ale, who I love. She's Italian. She's... Oh, wait, 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 where? Do you have, is that? I'm holding it up, but I know it's hard to look at the screen. So you are dancing in this picture. You might have been at some uh, shindig oh, well. or a wedding or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I should get her. Ale, look, it's you. It's you, Ale. It's you. <laughs> Say tu, mi amore. Ale, Say tu. You're on the show. Yeah, she's on look, the show. I'm holding her up. So you are, look at how <laughs> we dapper. Were at, we were at, at my cousin Matt's wedding. Beautiful. Yeah. I pr yeah. There isn't you are. She, is she, she's stunning, isn't she? She's yes, like, she is. She's like portrait of Italian beauty. She and really she's is. super smart and lovely as can be. She is. That lovely she is. as can be. And you. So that she, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, no, I have, to, I have to say she's, um, I, you know, she, uh. How can I, I'm, I'm trying to think how I, you know, she, it's been really interesting because she loves music, but you know, a lot of the music, um, she's never kind of been part of a musical sphere. I like, she appreciates it. She goes to shows. Um, I, co very coincidentally, like before we even met and started chatting online, um, she went to uh, a friend of mine's show, actually. Um, Stacey Sullivan did a, was part of a Dean Martin show and she happened to be there. And then it turned out, you know, that like coincidentally, we, she had been to the show of, of people I knew, right. but, um, but being part of, you know, it's so, it's fun to, to go with her to stuff that as somebody who grew up in Italy that are very, very American, like Broadway shows or, 
uh, nightclub acts or, or open mics and piano bar when we go visit you. It's, it's just really uniquely American and uniquely New York. So it's been really, it actually makes it more fun for me. Yeah. You know how it is, like, because you, you know, you, your eyeballs deep in tunes and crowds and working in bars and stuff. But when you have somebody else who, to whom it's all it kind through, of. Through new eyes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you get yeah, to yeah. see it all over again. I want to stop you for a second because uh, sure. John Bronson typed in something so amazing, John. I have to read it. John said, when Nate came to town, my nickname for him was The Future because he, because I knew that was what Piano Bar was going to look like in a couple of years. That's really profound. That's, it. That's beautiful and very true. And very true. Now, uh, speaking of the future, you, uh, Eric Eves Garcia, when I first yeah. met you, had just kind of sort of started in the business. You were playing at Shea Josephine, right? Yeah, that's right. And that's right. I got to say, you have really like, um, I don't want to use the word evolved because you were always evolved, but you have um, morphed into this this extended version of what you were and th so that more people get to hear what you do, you know, like uh, now like in the cabaret conventions or playing like uh, uh, in, in London, in Paris, uh, across yeah. the country, in Palm Springs. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, and do you feel different? Does it feel different for you or does it feel the same just getting bigger? Oh, wow. That's a, um, what a great question. Uh, you know what feels, um, it, you know what feels different? In all honesty, that I, I, and I, I really, I really mean this. It's not like a hokey answer. I really, I think even with all those things, those, all those things which, the traveling with the shows is kind of one of my favorite parts because then you really you get to meet people in different in different states and different cultures and different audiences react to different things and that's a joy and and there's a there, I always feel so proud about the idea that um, I did something at least well enough that you could export it. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> that's a good you way know what to I think. Mean? Yeah, uh, and so it's kind of like this is kind of great, you know, and for however long it lasts, at least it had legs enough that I could go do it, you know, on the road, hither and yon. But I have to say that the thing that also, one of the things, and I know she was on your show, and I'm going to mention it, mention uh, my work with her as well, um, and I know you'll relate to this because you, you do this as well, is being part of, uh, I think there was a part where I kind of, I mean, because I still, up until recently, two months ago, still do... Um, uh, you know, like five nights a week in different bars and, and restaurants and stuff. And that's kind of my toehold in the city. It sort of right. keeps me afloat. And um, and it's easy to, to kind of just get, I mean, anything that reminds you of gratitude to be able to do something creative full time is really worth it. Yeah. And something that really helped was when I started working with uh, Carolyn Montgomery, um, uh, I think almost in a sense, like it was really, it was always cool, like having shows that if they got reviewed or you could go out of town and, and, or getting an award or being able to do stuff at, at the cabaret convention is just a joy. It's just something I'll be proud of for the rest of my life. But it's in a weird way, what reminded me of one of the things I love about music was, was in starting to work with students when we would do the program, um, through the American Songbook Association in Harlem. Uh, Amazing. I've seen pictures and she talked about it quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And it, so in, in that sense, it, um, yeah, I think that's one of the aspects that feels differently about it, but I have to tell you, and I'm not just saying this, uh, because I'm on your show and, and just to be, just to be nice. Those days when we first met, um, when I first met you and Paul O'Halloran and, and, and Ron and, and, um, you were kind of like an entryway to me of what a creative life full time in New York city could be and, mm. and have a great circle of people. And, um, I, I think about that all the time and I associate it with you because I thought, Oh, maybe maybe this is possible. And I thought, wow. you know, at that point you would, you would want your Mac or, um, the song that, that you wrote. Yeah. Um, for kindness and, makes me cry. Yeah. Yeah. And right. Kindness makes me cry. And, 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 uh, I, I just, I don't know. 
I, 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 it helps to remember that sometimes. And so, and then it feels new again. Well, you thank know? you, and, honey. And now, uh, listen, I don't want to have this go on and not talk about what you're doing now because the reason, I mean, I always love talking to you, of course, and you're one of my favorite, favorite people in my life. But the reason I had you and Nate on, on the same show is because you're both bringing so much joy to people, even though you're, you're not able to be in clubs right now or tour or right. be, do the conventions or anything like that, or go and, into and the schools with the kids and do the American Songbook. You have this wonderful show on Friday afternoons yeah. um, that you go live on Facebook and tell everybody what it's called and how they can find it. All right, so the show is uh, called Midday Getaway, and it's on every Friday at 12.30 p.m., and it's uh, Facebook Live, and you don't have to be friends with me to find it. I make it public. It's uh, open to anybody on Facebook, whether we are friends or not. Uh, it's it's searchable on Google. If you uh, type in Eric Eve Garcia and Midday Getaway, Great. Uh, the link should come up. Uh, and it's basically like an hour, an hour and change um, at 12.30 every, every Friday afternoon. And basically what I wanted it to, I do it from my apartment uh, in Harlem. And basically what I wanted it to be was, um, I didn't want to, I wanted to do something that I don't normally get to do, which is not at night and not kind of like with a sophisticated thing, but like kind of like meeting somebody over lunch almost or kind of mm -hmm. hanging out in um, hanging out in in an apartment um, I read um, a short piece of verse I read a poem at the beginning that um, and then I, I do tunes some tunes I people request some tunes I you know kept a list during the week of things I'd like to do and they're usually and American songbook right American songbook jazz you know some kind of some blues infected uh, infect, inflected stuff. But um, yeah, it's 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 definitely Great American Songbook and um, just fun stuff. I wanted to keep it light. I wanted to keep it um, just kind of cozy. I wanted everybody to feel like at the end of that show that they'd had a breather, that they just kind of. Well, that is what it feels like. Then, then what you you have achieved what you set out to achieve, because that's exactly what it feels like. It's airy. It's daytime. Um, yeah. You know, it's like your son is coming through the windows and you're, uh, you know, you're, you're broadcasting from Harlem and I can't help but think of the history of that neighborhood musically and how you are, it's hallowed ground. And well, I'll, I'll yeah. tell you, that, and it's only within the last few years that I learned that that apartment is right, just a few, and I'm, I, I so thrilled by this that it that it's um you're right it's exactly how Luke ground it's right blocks away from where the original cotton club and the savoy ballroom were wow Amazing, and right? um so a lot of songs like stormy weather got the world on a straight you know i mean look i'm not gonna i don't want to you know appropriate it and take credit for that but i but i i revere that music and the people who wrote it and so i just wanted to do some just salute that and and um well it and then comes it, across like loud and clear it's wonderful i love it i really enjoy it and you also take requests and you put your venmo up there so people are yeah. able to venmo you their requests and if you can get to them otherwise you get to them the next week right absolutely yeah it, it's it's really and you know what's fun and, and and one of the things i love about it is that people start chatting in the chat feature um kind of amongst each other yeah they do that lot, yeah i love that too a lot like working in a bar working in a restaurant or working in a club or whatever and and that you know friends stop by or maybe somebody you don't know stop a friend of a friend somebody you don't know but there's this kind of communal thing and you know there have been little moments every now and then where i thought oh and it's like i never wanted to kind of hit everybody over the head with it i just thought well you know if they it's just easy going thing but what's nice is that every now and then when i thought uh, you know, maybe I'll take a break this week and give everybody a breather and not be a pain. But every now and then people, you know, like drop a line and say, uh, I really look forward to it. You know, yeah, I, 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 it... In, I, I have, a, you know, I bought a lunch or my, my, my mother brings up uh, my nieces. Oh. They're having they're having breakfast, you know, in in the southwest when when the show's on. And 
uh, it's fun. And yeah. I, I, it's really, actually, I look forward to it all week because then it's it's a visit for me. Almost Absolutely. Selfish, and like really. you said, people come on. And I want to thank Jeannie Craigie just wrote a Midday Cheer. I mean, Midday Getaway. Thank you. Uh, Midday, yeah, Getaway. Midday Getaway. And uh, Leo mm-hmm. also posted it. So your Facebook Thank page you, so Leo. people can find you. Now, uh, Frenchie, I got to stop you because I have to do the uh, the food section of our show. So you're going to do this with me. I'm going to put the oh, phone down for a moment. And we have reached a section of our show called, do it with me, Frenchie. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep, Keep eating. eating. All right. So, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out. I also want to welcome Colette Cass, uh, Katie Cass's mom. Colette Pay is Cass has joined us. I love you, Colette. I miss you. She's out in Wisconsin. Okay, what did I make? Now, it was Memorial Day yesterday, right? And I'm in New York. So in New York, so I have made hot dogs. However, these aren't just everyday hot dogs. These are the Sabret hot dogs, which is what the push cart guys use. Oh, classic, yeah. Classic New York hot dog. And what did I get? I got the onions, the Sabret onions in sauce. I know. And you, you, I heated those up, so I am, um, I grill the hot dogs, I like them grilled. I like them boiled too, but I really like them grilled. So I grill those up. No, and grilled is better, yeah. Grilled is better. Put them in potato bread with the onions. Is Can you guys smell these? Amazing. So that, you know what? what? It's gorgeous. It, that, that really, you know, there's a great, um, oh, who said it? I think it, I think it was Humphrey Bogart said, uh, a, a hot dog at the ballpark is better than a steak at the Ritz. Oh, so true. true. Now, let it me show true. you. You're <laughs> so right. Let me show you the salad I made. This is my red, white, and blue big apple salad. And what I did oh. here, thank you, was I have red leaf lettuce. I have um, blue cheese crumble. I have blueberries. Now, I know a lot of people like blueberries in a salad. I like to put fruit and vegetables together and a salad because you got your salty sweet that's right up my alley blueberries which i chopped a lot of them i chopped up inside there apples for the big apple red delicious apple and i'm gonna put a basic delicious red wine vinaigrette trader joe's has my favorite so i'll be putting a trader joe's vinaigrette on that and also um because uh tara uh jones connor Asked me this week, Maria, you uh, you make always make these great salads. What what? Give me a recipe. And this was kind of some of the recipe that I gave her, uh, except for the blueberries. So I'm adding the blueberries to this, and um, I like to. I'm gonna put a little dill weed in there too. So oh, oh that yeah. sounds delicious. That's I can't great. wait. I love salads. Now I do too. Yeah. I am diverting for dessert. I am diverting for the New York theme. These were sent to me by my friend Liz Goldenberg, who you know as well, Frenchie. Absolutely. Yes, Liz Goldenberg is a very generous friend of ours. So what she sent me through this company called Gold Belly that sends, you know, you can get food from all over the country. This is from, these are incredible donuts. Oh, look at that. And it's from a a company called Stan's Donuts. Now, Stan's Donuts, if you live in California, in L.A., which, Darcy, you might know this, uh, it's right near one of the universities. A guy named Stan Berman opened it up 50 years ago and has been running this donut shop. And sadly, because of COVID-19, he um, had to close because they they couldn't sustain uh, Uh, the business because uh, most of their business was from the college students. That's the bad news. The good news is, a few years ago, this gentleman named, and I had to write it down, um, I want to say, hold on a second, Rich uh, Labriola who owns Labriola Bakeries, uh, a, a really great chef. He um, partnered with uh, Stan Berman, and they opened Stan's Donuts in Chicago. So he has continued on, even though Stan's original shop closed, um, Rich Labriola has continued in Chicago these wonderful donut shops called Stan's Donuts, and now they have cookies too. This is a chocolate on, it's like donuts, and then they're dipped in something. So they're fried, and then they're dipped. So this is a chocolate on chocolate. This one I'm showing here is a pumpkin dipped in cinnamon. Outrageous. And oh, then wow. this one is um, 
like a, a cake donut and it has sprinkles inside the cake too. It's not just on the outside. And then it's dipped in like a vanilla dunk. Amazing. I can't tell you. And so that's what we're having for dessert tonight. Well, we means me. I'm eating all that. Yes, I am. Because my guests are not able to get here in person. I know it's crazy. Hey, if I, if I could help you, I would. I know you would. You, you Listen, for, for a, someone that is fit, you can eat. And I love that about you. I love I you. Try. I you make try. a girl feel good about her home cooking. You're like, oh, I love it. You always have eaten my food. I love that. You're a fantastic cook. Well, thank I, I you. Would, I would love to, some, some show, I would love, I, I, have you ever done a, a segment where, where you're cooking like live in the kitchen? I have never. And guess what, Frenchie? I think we're going to have to do it, but you're going to have to come over with me. Oh, anytime. We'll you just keep switching. Because you know what? As we're, you know, all changing and doing things, we're going to have to. Uh... Oh, thank you, Leo, for posting Stan's Donuts. Yes. Leo Rodriguez. Thank you. Boy, he's really on it. He's lightning. Leo fast. is on it for sure. Um, okay, so we're, we're getting close to the end of our show. So, but, uh, so Eric Eves Garcia, you will find him on Facebook. Um, midday getaway. Yeah. Fridays at 1230 p.m. Right after. Uh, you know what? That's a special time for Italians. You know what it's called for Italians? You know La mezza. La mezza. La mezza. Yeah. And what it mean? my mother would always say, I'd say, Ma, what time are we eating? Mangiamo la mezza. We're eating. You tell that to Ale and she'll laugh. Because <laughs> to them, it really is midday, not noon, 1230. Yeah. To Italians. That's, that's funny. That, that, that's a really good point. You know, I never actually thought of that before. La mezza. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. La mezza, yeah. Yeah. So my mother Mez, would say, Mangiamo la mezza. So Ale would love that. So maybe what we'll do. Sometimes I'll have you and Ali over and we will all cook in the kitchen and do a special episode. That would be really fun. Well, I got to tell you, the minute they relax, you know, the standards that I believe are keeping us safe. Yes, they're I keeping mean, us I'm, alive. I'm, I'm in favor. But the minute they relax it a little and we can do it, we're there. I we're mean, doing it. forget it. We're, we're over. That's <laughs> it. I, I love it. I, I miss you guys and I love you very much. We had a uh, little. We love you too. I love it. And um, we had a little Zoom birthday party for me and Jeffrey this week. And uh, Eric and Ollie were there. And I really appreciate you guys. So, French, I want to thank you. I'm going to start signing off soon. So I'm going to hang up and just tell you, everybody, please go and see Eric uh, Fridays at La Mezza, 1230, on his Facebook page. And you will get American Songbook Amazingness. Thank, right. thank you so much, Maria. Thank, I, I, this has just you brightened my whole day. As well, you, you do, I think, for every, all of your viewers and listeners. You're you, just, uh, you, make, you make it all more than bearable. You really do. Well, ditto, honey. Absolutely. That's why I wanted to spread the good, the good word. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, honey. Stay I'll safe. talk to you real soon. Talk to you soon. Love okay. You. Love you too, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Friendship. I love that guy. And I love Nate. I love, love, love the two people that called in tonight. Like brothers, I love them. Okay, we're almost done with our show. I hope that everybody, I got to call everybody out. Like Scott Barbarino, thank you for all your comments. Scott Barbarino runs Piano Bar Live. It's just great. Annette Zito, thank you. Colette, I don't think I missed anybody. Jeannie Craigie, thank you everybody for, now I do want to show you very quickly. We do have merchandise available still. Here's the tote bag. Oh my God, there it is. And it's washable, of course. Go ahead, keep eating. That's 10. The coffee mug. Have my tea in there. What's the story with Maria? On the back. Go ahead, keep eating. 10 bucks. And then everybody's favorite. I've sold more of this than anything else. The apron, the blue apron. The go ahead, keep eating apron. This one is 25 because it costs a lot more to make than the other pieces. Anyway, we want to thank you. Don't forget Nate Bucheri, um, Friday nights at 9 p.m., Nate on the Keys. You'll find him. It's a blast. Don't forget Eric Eves Garcia, also Fridays, 1230 La Mezza, midday getaway. And in between there, if you're looking for something to do, Lavinia Draper does a clap because we care crazy cooking show. In between, we're going to have uh, her call in, in the next few weeks. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Jimmy Bell, thank you so much. Joe Rocks, thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Let's stay positive. Use this time to do something nice for yourself. That's all. 
Let's use the downtime because sooner, soon enough, we're going to be back to the old grind. Okay. I love you guys. God bless you all. See you next week.